got some bad news. The Titans were big fat liars. And the cosmology chart that you're all familiar with from the Chronicle is loosely accurate at best. We got an updated version created by the brokers who have been researching this cosmos thing unlike anyone else around. So there are definitely some modifications to the lore that you have all been familiar with in the past decade. So how did the first ones shape the universe and what exactly did the titans lie about? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. The new information comes from the latest book Grimoire of the Shadowlands and we read about the origins of the universe but from a completely different perspective that of the brokers who are these mysterious beings that from the sound of them seem like the greatest philosophers and researchers in the entire universe. Now how true that is is uncertain but what is certain is that 100% they are the most pretentious ones. All of you I'm guessing thus far are familiar with the old chronicle cosmology chart if you're not it is right here on the screen in its full glory essentially you have a reality where we are at the material plane in the center of everything and then you have the equally sized opposite forces in the universe six of them order disorder light void life and death now in the book the broker researcher came across a scholar from azeroth and the scholar showed them this cosmology chart and the broker was just trying his best to contain his laughter indirectly calling the azeroth scholar a jester he then goes on to show in the book as he states the correct cosmology map which you can also see on the screen now what is really interesting is that it is actually not at all different from what we're familiar with it's not that the chronicle map was just a straight out lie but there are some factors that are just drastically different and that really change everything the most important disparity is that reality is not in the center and in fact there is no concept of reality in the broker chart. I'd say this is because reality is not really a thing that it is just the way the mortals view the universe and really in the grand scheme of things everything is reality that isn't like this realm of reality. Instead in the updated version there is the great cycle. This for all of you that have followed the recent happenings you already know what it is but it is essentially what the the jailer is after and what this entire sepulchral thing is related to and this is something 100% imposed upon the universe by the first ones. What we have actually learned is that long ago the six cosmological forces existed in opposition to each other, some were in open war, some weren't but they were 100% in strife. Then the seven force, the first ones, came in and ordered the universe in what is now known as the great cycle. Of course all of this is kind of muddy at the moment but in practical terms what this means is that there is an imposed system upon the universe where one force creates and the other destroys. You have life that constantly sprouts which ultimately sends anima to death that empowers the shadow. It also goes the other way around as we have learned through other world that it's just one big cycle. Now this seems like an endless loop where all of us are actually trapped in and that we can't exactly escape this mechanism. Honestly it seems like a great lid limiting all the cosmological forces. Now whether this is a good or a bad thing it is uncertain but it is clear certain forces like the jailer want to break this so that they can subdue all the other forces. So ultimately for the little mortal ants like us this cycle may actually be a good thing as it is keeping the villains in check. Now it is important to know that we have three different systems in place. You have life and death, light and shadow and order and disorder. Now this much we already knew from the old cosmology chart but the major difference is that the more accurate uh, broker chart seems to prioritize them. See in the old chart all the forces and the cycles seemed equal in size but in this one it seems obvious that the life and death cycle is at least two times bigger than the others making it seem like it is the cycle. 
The other differences are in the symbology and the details. The old cosmology chart placed the titans to be important as in they represent order and then we had all these small beings such as the wild gods. Well, the broker chart is actually a lot more basic even though it is more sophisticated. For example, you have just order and that is it and this fact may challenge the notion that the titans are order itself and that they may just be a part of it instead and maybe not even a major part of order. The symbols also change, for example, the order mechanism looks like a broker object which may signal that they are beings of order as well and we also can't even see the titans on there. So these are the main differences and here is what I really make out of this. So we know that the original Chronicle of Cosmology is from a titan perspective. This is something we've known for years. Not a titan perspective as in the titans came in and they wrote personally like in this little book but it is more like a researcher took all the titan data we have on Azeroth and he drafted this chart which is ultimately the same. Now it is obvious that Azeroth has crazy titan influence. The entire planet was ordered by them, most of the races are of their origin and every scholar and researcher so far looked into the titan vaults in order to learn about the universe. That was like the only source. Now the broker comes from a place where he visited various realities, a ton of different planets, so his library of knowledge is definitely a lot broader. He actually notes in the book how the titans are kinda crafty and how this chart is so awesome obviously biased, how every word looks at the titans favorably, how it claims that the pantheon of order are the creators of the universe and how they use the same word for ordered as they use for created. So when they say they created a planet, they actually mean they came into something that was already there and they just put their order upon it. The most interesting point and the most important one is that the broker notes that the titans claim credit for what they did not build but instead what they had inherited. So this obviously tells us that the first ones are the real architects and that the titans are like the discount version. Now, what I think is actually worth noting is that I also don't think that the broker chart is 100% accurate either and that it is also biased but just from a different perspective and that the real truth of the universe is kind of somewhere in the middle. Now, to be completely fair, I think the broker one is less biased because, let's be real, these broker guys have traveled across the universe, they spoke to a ton of different races, people from different planets and their knowledge is undoubtedly broader. While it is obvious that the Azura chart is almost exclusively from titan sources however because the brokers are constantly saying how they are so smart how everything they say is correct this is the way how they are the real and the true philosophers and scholars i think they may also be deluding themselves as well i'd say that the broker chart is a lot more sophisticated as it draws from multiple sources but that it is ultimately biased because it looks through the lens of the shadowlands which seems like their home realm that may exactly be why in their chart life and death cycle is the main one and the other ones are kind of just footnotes in the exact same logic, this is why the titan planet lands, the titans are the main guys. I'm guessing if we got a child from the Naru, the light and the void struggle would be the main focus of the universe, while others would just be hanging around. Nonetheless though, this is definitely quite a bit of progression in our understanding of the universe and while some of these are definitely kinda soft retcons, I wouldn't really call them retcons but more like learning the various perspectives from different cosmological beings and ultimately drawing our own conclusions. Thank you for watching, check out what is the actual origin of the mob by clicking on the screen and also check out Donald's Academy for videos on real world history and science. See you next time.